This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena we are playing with Gate Fires. It's a straightforward-ish deck. Just get a bunch of gates on the battlefield, make your Gate Breaker Ram epic. Make your guild summit draw a bunch of cards, make your gates ablaze blow a bunch of things up, fires of invention, play stuff for free, use Kenrith, you've seen this. But when you put it in a gates shell with guild summit and you get to draw your deck and do all kinds of fun things, it's really cool. Our removal, if you want to call it that, our epic board clears like planar cleansing and gates ablaze. We run an obscene amount of land. All these gates, four plazas of harmony to gain some life, no basic lands. We're 100% playing shock lands to try to get our mana right. And yeah, 28 freaking lands. Only nine creatures, but the idea is eventually you blow up all the opponent's stuff, remove everything, play a Kenrith, give your Gatebreaker Ram Haste, smash their face. That's usually enough. It's not the most resilient of decks. Control strategies can dial in on these five creatures as the win con and usually beat you, which. That's fine. Maybe maybe I should have a Jason here since you do draw your whole deck. What the hell? It's my party. I can do whatever I want. You know what we should do? Totally. We should do, build a wish board. And we should run Fae of Wishes. Just, just one. As like the other win con in the deck. Can even cut back on the ram. So... Um, some people have given, like, they've, they've told me before, like, it's like, I, I don't, I want to build a deck with, like, Masterminds acquisition granted, but I never know what to put in. The decision making of the sideboard is really difficult. You want a variety of cards that are helpful in a variety of situations. I have sort of a go-to list that I use. In this case, the Jace is a potential win con, and that's a big reason to go get the Jace. You can also... Let's see, what else? Against decks with counter spells, you want things that can't be countered to win the game. And here's our here's our options. We don't have black in our deck, so we'll get a Chandra in there. Uh, we can't fetch a Niv, so we'll leave that where it's at. Rhythm of the Wild is pretty hot, but if it gets removed, the opponents can counter our stuff again, so that's not very good. Rye looks like a nice one just as a removal spell if we need to fetch something like that with Fey. although you like to get haymakers so when i'm thinking my mass I, I only add a couple of small things that i can get like i'll probably add aether gust and fry as the cheap color hosers to get but then the rest you want as like big win the game overpowering super strong effects i like having a blue finale i know it's not particularly it if the opponent has Planeswalker removal and say they're holding up Murderous Rider to kill the Jace when you play it Then having a finale of revelation can do a lot At the same time against a flash deck or something like that. Let's throw in a Teferi And what else? Oh man What else? So after that The rest of the things probably aren't gonna be Searched for too much. You could roll out with a small sideboard if you're having too much de decision fatigue one of my favorite sideboards is the Karn package that I plan to go fetch Karn and then use against the food decks, which is I use Karn to fetch a Graft Digger's Cage and then a Spyglass. So I essentially get two tutors out of my tutor. Ah. And I guess we can add another cleansing. Probably won't ever need it. It is pretty redundant. Pull some Marasa's a good life gain option and that is cheap while uh, the celebration, plain wide celebration, is a good life gain option that is expensive. And what is the last one? There's like a regrowth type effect. I know it has adamant, but the name of it, once in future, is a good card that can bring you back some of your cards that you've already used if you just need to kind of recapture your combo. Like if you just want to use once in future to get back Kenrith and uh, Gatebreaker Ram and win the game, it will do that. Okay. There, we built a wish board. It wasn't that hard. Just look for your big end game effects, your very specified effects, and a few cheap things. But know primarily what you want. And most of the time, I bet what we fetch is Jace to just win the game after decking ourselves with the guild summits. 
All right, let's dive in. Let the Gates nonsense begin. This is what it's come to, memeing and mythic. All right. Yeah, it's fine. The one of Fey of Wishes is already here. Let's do this. Beastie make token. Graze, baby, graze. Put out the Is it Gilgate to set up the Gross Spiral for next turn. Or the Plaza, but probably tap land, tap land. Ooh, a gate. Whatever could it be. Double Love Struck Beast Forest. Go. All right. Do we just want the 1 4 here? I don't know. The granted may be really important in this game. Let's just get our gates out. I'll just grow spiral now in case we hit something. Another grazer, for example, that we'd want to play. All right, Gate City. And then, then the plazas get online. A big hole in this deck, of course, is Embercleave, which the aggressive decks are packing in force from mono red to knights of all the color combinations. That include red, of course. To uh, Gruul, the deck we're playing against now. Oh, wait, never mind. Actually, I even saw it. I did see an Embercleave in the Teamer Adventure deck. So, this turn, we can play Plaza of Harmony, Game 3, Guild Summit, Draw 2. Sounds delightful. Let's do it. Make sure that we tap in such a way as to have gates untapped. Pay one. So this is probably the worst my sickness has been, so I hope you'll give me a break. This this has been... This is the beanie of illness. I will remove the beanie of illness when I'm feeling back to normal. When I'm no longer feeling sick. Okay, so we got a deal. The beanie of illness will be the sign to all of you that you no longer have to worry about me. Opponent doing the fetching. We got a lot of planar cleansing in this deck though. All right, ow. And they picked out a Fey of Wishes with the incubation. There's a fires. Hello. Yeah, let's go for that. I can go for that. Make sure that we tap right. Because we want the Guild Summit. Maybe I should draw. No. And do it. Like, hmm. I could draw a lot more cards next turn if I wait, but I think I just want to do this now because next turn we're going to do Granted. There you go. Here we go. Ooh, we got a Ram and a Blaze. Okay. Stuff's happening. We're now down to 14, facing 12 power. It's a little scary. Let's see what Granted gets for our opponent. How do they plan to torture me? What are they gonna do? Sure. Chandra's an interesting one. Oh, it's a Fable Passage. That's why you're holding priority. Okay. Here's my blocks. You got anything else for me? Or are you done here? Your opponent's thinking about cracking this Fable Passage. Mm, what should I do? What should I do? So, Fae of Wishes can get a Planar Cleansing to take out the Chandra once the opponent goes for that. But I think we'll need to grind better than that. Second Gates Ablaze. So we're not actually drawing any extra cards. We ran out of gates. Feels bad, man. But I guess we don't need them. Our plays are pretty straightforward. We can gain life with Plaza. We can play the Ram. We can Gates Ablaze. The opponent will play the Chandra. We'll use Granted to go get something. I didn't put Casualties of War in the sideboard. See? Things get forgotten. Boom. Feels bad. 
Just in case they have another way to make a 1-1. One, one. one blue, two blue, three blue, four blue. We can get mass manipulation and steal this Chandra. That's pretty hype. Don't think the opponent would have a good way to deal with that, but let's see. Here comes the island, here comes the innkeeper. That's annoying. Right after I gates ablaze, dude. You so cold. You so cold. Another plaza? Well, let's do it. What are we getting? We need to stock up on cards. Ooh, Chandra Wars? Chandra can come down and kill the Chandra, which is not okay. I feel like I need to go over the top of our, my opponent. This deck is so weird that way. Let's do this. Make sure you pay the cost. Somewhere in there, our deck ran out of gas for no real good reason, so let's recharge. Here's Chandra. Alright, now we need Kenrith. Grr. Draw some cards. Jesus! What is going on? Alright, well I can see four more cards, so we may as well. Where's the planar cleansings? Where's the nonsense? Where's the good stuff? Let's go. Come on, deck. Let's draw some, draw some money. Yes. Two, three, four. Still no cleansing. All right, we only get one more spell because of the fires, which is one of the reasons I'd be happy to cleanse it any time now. Uh, let's play you. One, two, three. So I can make this an 8-8 eight, eight and take out the Chandra. I think. If I read that right. Trample haste. Plus one, plus one counter. Me. I'm stacked. Check me out. So we just need to keep Chandra from minusing to kill this. So maybe the rest of the mana can gain life. Do I leave Chandra on the field? I mean, I don't think it's too bad because eventually we'll cleanse. And if I gain enough life, I don't have to worry about the ability. What's the opponent going to do to me? Am I going to die? Guess we all take our chances. Um, I'll get rid of the Chandra. I'm annoyed enough that I want it to... I'm annoyed enough with everything that I just want to kill it. Bone crush my face, okay? They're gonna try to set up their lethal. But they also have to kill the Kenrith. If I untap, I'm gonna gain way too much life. Discard four cards. All these... Hideous lands that don't draw me don't draw me cards. You can go, and extra fires. You can go. We're way past that. Twenty six cards to go. There's still another Kenrith, three planar cleansings. Opponent goes for the giant. Yep. Should I give all creatures haste? Do you think that would be a good play? I should do it. Just, you know, for the troll. Down to six. All right, now we gain a million. Take a point. Let's smash. I've got... My my rams are bigger. Bigger than your giant. Yes, there we go. We fumbled through that one. But we survived.
Here comes Maxia. This hand doesn't have green mana. It's not good. If I draw green mana, it's a great hand though. Whatever. YOLO. Maybe you should mulligan this, but on the play, I'm just always so scared of mulliganing. And I know I have to draw land anyway, or I wouldn't even get to cast these. I have only 28 lands in the deck. Surely a green one will come straight to the top for me. It will be a miracle. One to the top, two to the bottom. One fires to the top, other cards to the bottom. Temple, bet it goes to the bottom. Yeah, scry machine at work. Ooh, at least we gain life from the plazas now. Fires, fires. All right, we'll be looking for green off the top. Hold on to your butts. The fairy's annoying, but no big deal. Okay, let's gain a life. Let's make blue, and let's make blue, and let's make red, and let's play a guild summit. And we'll tap this for the manas. Okay, well, now we have the triple white between the plazas and the boros guild gate. Oh, you're going to mount that? I like it. More cards for me. That's not fires of invention. That's fires of invention. That's not a fire. This here is a fire. Okay. What do we play? The root? Probably get ourselves set. It's tempting to play the Guild Summit, but I can play that next turn and draw a whole bunch of cards and then cleanse, possibly. Or also Circuitous Root, depending how much pressure the opponent puts me under. So, let's get some of these other colors that I keep in the deck, you know, as a meme. Not because I want to draw them or anything. But yeah, Fires is Mana Fix. Fires is Mana Fix. Shock yourself. Yep. But you haven't hasted him up yet, have you? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're looking probably for a Gates Ablaze turn. So we can Circuitous Root Gates Ablaze. We can also Guild Summit and start drawing cards now. The opponent has their Teferi on three. They probably want to bounce something. We're also at a point where we could planar cleanse. Like we could play this, we could play this route for free, planar cleanse, and then play the guild summit. Or do we play the guild summit for free, then planar cleanse, then circuitous route? It's kind of tricky. One, two, three, four. So we'll go like this. We're gonna wait a turn on the planar cleansing. We're fine. Feel the glow. And burn them, burn it down, burn it all down. Discard the lands that don't do anything. What are we at? We need to discard two. I guess backup fires is definitely unnecessary now. So unlike other Fires of Inventions deck, this deck, once it loses fires, is fine. The fires is kind of a means to an end. It helps gas you up, and then later in the game you don't need it anymore. Because you have a million mana, and you draw your whole deck. So it actually slows you down. All right, we're definitely looking for Planar Cleanse here. How many lands do you put in the graveyard? One. All right. It's not a very devastating cavalier. So we want to cast two spells before we cleanse. We want to draw as much as we can off the guild summit. So, the well, one spell before we cleanse. The second one, yeah. So we want to cast the root and go get two more gates. 
Draw, draw, draw. Don't think it really matters which ones when we have this many plazas. All right, we've got backup guild summits. Feels good, man. Another one. Now we cleanse you. Resolve the trigger, so we'll take an ouch. Now we can play the backup guild summit or we can run out the ram. The opponent might not have a good solution to the ram. Actually, we can do both, can't we? One, two, three, one, two. So I don't tap any other lands, or do I? Oh yeah, I tap one. Because I have the growth spiral. But I didn't leave up mana for it. Nicely done, CGB. <laughs> the opponent's seen enough even as I misplay horribly. Ah. Uh... Okay. I guess we'll try this ball of nonsense. Just gonna play my tap land and not shock. Don't think I'm going to get fervent championed on turn one. Nobody plays that card. Bell Collector, on the other hand, pure class. Enter tapped. Enter tapped. <clears throat> Next turn, root. Then cleansings for days. Hype. Robbing the rich. I guess we can save this because we can gain life with it later. So we pay two life now, but we'll gain three the next turn. Now we need white mana. We need two white mana. What else do we need? We need gates that produce blue. And gates that produce white. So that covers that. So we need one more white mana. And we guess we have enough red. The one black guild gate is in there, in there for Kenrith, for those of you getting curious. I guess I'll just grab this. No attacks. Hey, we ramped. We like ramped into ramp. That's what we came for. Feels good. Our opponent has their third land. We've got six going on seven. Uh-oh. Ambush! How aggressive of you. So if we let the opponent go from here, they're gonna questing beast us, most likely. So we need to planar cleanse this and the follow-up. Skewer, Jesus. The most aggressive gruelist of all of them. Alright. Now we've got to reload after we cleanse the opponent twice. What else you got? Of course you do. Of course you do. Now the question is, do we blow that up? I don't think so. Uh, let's leave the plaza to the last land. We'll go like this, this, this. Tap this, this, this. Try to draw another plaza would be nice. Grazer's okay. I guess we can draw first. This plaza would be great. Grazer can't block, though. It's not great. It's just okay. Let's see if the opponent can kill me. They can go land Embercleave if they have a perfect curve. We're looking for more plazas. We're looking for Kenrith. Those are our life gain options. What'd you get? Okay. The land I don't even want. Perfect. Down to three. Does the opponent have another skewer of the critics? Which strikes me as super aggressive in Gruel. All right, if we're going to cleanse, let's draw a card first. Spiral. All right. Boom shakalaka. 
go. Pelt. Yep. What else you got? Met three. I need. <laughs> I need a recovery plan. Too much health has been lost to this day. I mean, all the guild summits can't seem to put me back together, though. So I think the plan is to draw a Plaza of Harmony and a Boreal Grazer. I know it was the plan last time, but we're going to give it another try. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. Hey, look at that. We did it, chat. I'm king of the world. I'm debating if I should... Well, no, I can't, like, instant speed it. But there's some life. Here's another sloth beast. Well, take the put the land down that draws a card and in, enters the battlefield tapped. There's another Gates Ablaze. Could have used those a lot sooner so we didn't have to go full on six mana planar cleansing on these. All right, spell break, sir. We are not out of the woods yet, by the way. They're still in danger. No attacks? Oh, because they put a counter on the spell breaker instead of going hasty. That's weird. What do you think? Do we cleanse first? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can cleanse, ram, and root. But we'd have to shock, which I don't like. So maybe we're not going to root. We'll just play another guild summit in a minute. Let's draw first. Spiral? Sure. Boom. I know we don't have to cleanse, we could blaze. But I like saving the blaze. I like having a cheaper option. And now we play the monster sheep. May as well grow spiral now, we might hit something we want to play. And we'll play this. Because we'd rather have the gate enter the battlefield for the guild summit. Although it doesn't matter, we can tap for them any anytime we want to. Alright. Can we close? <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, possibly 16. Not quite enough. Let's play a guild summit first. Before we start ramping. And that's going to linger on the stack while the opponent debates whether or not to activate Castle Embreth. I would not, personally. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. I think I can use one gate here. Ooh, Fae of Wishes. What's that do? A million things. Possibility overload. There's got to be a way to gain life, though. Uh, I'm one short of Planar Celebration, but we have Pulse of Marasa. Yeah, let's just go get that. Play it safe. Play it safe, you guys. You know how many times I've lost because I was messing around, not playing it safe? Play it freaking safe. Give me a sloth. Heal me, baby. All right, we'll draw first. <laughs> click, click. Kitty, click. It's not BM if you need to be sure. <clears throat> I don't know what they could draw. Edgewall Innkeeper to Bone Crusher Giant into God knows what. All right, three more life. Yes. <laughs> yeah, if you don't want to, if you don't want to see me play it out, you're welcome to leave. I, I get it. I get it. Firebert. Firebert. 
Herbert. Herbert. I don't know. Let's go. Grazer. Do we need to turn one it? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. When it opens on a temple? Uh oh. Eh, it could mean anything. Doesn't mean it's Simic Flash. Doesn't mean it's the nightmare. We have the option of Shock Circuitous Root next turn. The opponent has two mana up, though. Let's just play this around Quench. Oh. Oh! Oh, we're doing this now. Cool. Burn an eight. How about not all those cards? It's too many cards. This is a this is an interesting matchup between two decks that just want to do their thing if this is the team or adventure list that is taken over the internet. I'll have to I did a version of this a while ago. But it didn't have an Edgewall Innkeeper, it had a Hydroid Crisis, but otherwise it's almost the exact, it's almost the same deck. Not, not exactly, but pretty close. But you can find that deck if you're wondering, like, what is this Teamer deck everybody is playing? You can find that deck by looking in my channel, if you're interested. I do need Triple White. So I guess I'll get a Boros Guild, another Boros Guild Gate as well. I have a ton of green sources. And a ton of blue. Don't think it's worth shocking to have a grazer to block a 1-1. One, one. And now we're going to be needing the top decks. This is where we need to draw Gates Ablaze. Or not Gates Ablaze. The gate thingy that draws a million cards. You know, our opponent drew frickin' three innkeepers. We can't draw one of our gate thingies. Let's see what we can find. There it is. Alright, so I think much as I want to play the ram and prevent this damage, I kind of feel like we need to get the cards flowing. Doesn't really matter. Okay, well we found a planar cleansing and another summit. That's pretty good. Let's see what the opponent does to the board here. You know they're going to want to play out a bunch of stuff because of Innkeeper. Don't ever forget this deck has Burn. Yeah. We didn't draw another land to go with the summit, unfortunately, but this just has to get nuked. Let's save the Grazer. Eventually we'll have a bunch of land in our hand when we use our next guild summit. Opponent goes big. We can block that. Yeah. Let's go with blue. How big are you? Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our opponent's on seven. Let's go with the gates. The guild summit. And let's draw... Let's see, if they have a Brazen Borrower and they hit me, I'm not quite dead, but it's really close. But we do need this land drop pretty badly, and we need to gas up a bit. Maybe we just go for one and play the Ram. We're really banking on drawing a gate off the top if we do that. We could just play both and not do that at all, but I think that we just... I think we play aggressive and go for the cards here. All right. Pause of Harmony, please. Okay. Well, we gassed up on mana. Feels good. We've got a blocker. The opponent didn't brazen borrow it. Feels good. We're hanging in there. And they say go. Is their hand just lands? What would still be in their hand? They'd Bone Crusher Giant me if they could. They would make more adventure creatures if they could, I think. Unless they're really worried about another board wipe. Three, four, five, six lands. This gets me to seven, eight, though. Let's do it. Let's use 
Circuitous route, two more gates, draw two cards, gates ablaze, kill the beanstalk giant. I think we still have the mana for a ram. No, we don't. Not unless we draw an untapped land. Plaza of Harmony would be perfect again. Let's go get the black. Get the black gate just in case we want to use the Kenrith here. I don't think the other gate particularly matters. I'll grab you. Fires. They already played a spell, so it would be our last spell for the turn. That's not what we're really looking to do. We didn't draw the Plaza of Harmony. I don't think there's any harm in playing this now. They have Brazen Borrower? Feels like it. If they did, they should have used Petty Theft on the Grazer. I guess they're nervous about something else. Oh, they had a Bone Crusher Giant and they could have played it out. That's weird. Okay, I guess they are playing around board wipes. It means that they're pretty low on threats in their hand because they're not worried about their mana, about wasting mana. So here, it seems pretty solid. Like, can I kill them? <laughs> Let's see what we draw. Okay. Here's Kenny. Here's a ram. So we have just the right mana here to give everything haste and trample and have the mana to gain life with Kenrith the Return King if we need it. Opponent takes it on the chin. Down to three and pass. Can the opponent deal eight to me plus the five from Kenrith? No, they cannot. All right. Well, that was pretty fun. Thanks for hanging out with me today as I continue to battle illness. Uh, honestly, I really like to try out decks and work on them and then show you what I've learned, um, especially like tuned versions of existing decks. I haven't had a lot of time or cognitive capacity to do that while I'm ill. So I'm just playing a little bit of nonsense that I haven't really tested in this Gatefires deck felt good. And I'm going to log off now. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to my sponsors. And please hit like and subscribe if you've ever been sick and needed a pick-me-up. I'm going to go drink some OJ. And I will see you later.